What is thy name? Paper gray. Shoddy. Or shoddy. <laughs> shoddy? Please do not disturb. She is sleeping peacefully. Do I do I disturb? Do I have to? Um, I guess so. What if I'm allergic to flowers? Why does she have blood on her? <laughs> to die, to sleep. To sleep, for a chance to dream. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? And what if you awoke? You need a doctor. This is already so dumb, I hate it. <laughs> you need a shot. <laughs> I do, I really need a good shot of something strong. <laughs> Here, I'll take this, my child. Now your dreams are a sanctuary. And your reality is a waking hell. An illusion. From Sigmund the... Fraud. <laughs> From the desk of Dr. Sigmund Fraud. Patient Rose. Tormented young girl. Why is her name in quotation marks? Like, not really her name then? I think it's not her name. Just not write a narrative at her. <laughs> just, just never. <laughs> Never, never. <laughs> Claims to converse with ghosts. Parents divorced, arguing, and desperate. Father wealthy. Perfect scenario to charge my highest bills. So easy. What shall be my maximum profit strategy? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need like two million dollars <laughs> in order to have her stay overnight. Let's begin Nobody with the rights such incriminating evidence against themselves. <laughs> yes, how shall I exploit this family? I will write down on paper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's this? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I never wrote that. I think it was Rose. <laughs> Quote unquote it's Rose. Wait. It's it says do not read. <laughs> Wait. I'm shoddy. I'm not Rose. <laughs> Let's well, begin yeah, with the someone else. <laughs> Let's begin with a physical ailment. A virus of the mind. A simple prescription will get things going. With the highest price antibiotic injections. <laughs> I'm not sure this will work, but we'll try it. One minor problem. Beyond some babbling with imaginary friends, the girl is unafflicted. How will I convince the parents the drugs are needed? I must review those blood samples. Is Shoddy the doctor? <laughs> I feel like Shoddy is a doctor. <laughs> Can I pick this up? I want some of this. Give me it. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Dead so diary? I'm new doctor. Mommy and daddy say he's going to help me and bad dreams go away. I can't make them understand he's my friend, not bad dreams. They said Dr. Fraud is a nice man, but I don't <laughs> like him. They gave me a shot and it hurt so bad. Everything turned scary. I hope I don't have to get another shot. I just want to talk with my friends. Daddy gets mad if I talk about him. He says as long as I talk about my friends, I have to stay here with Dr. Frog. I'll write it down here in my diary where no one can see. <laughs> Logic flawless. This is private, only for me. My friends tell me only special people can see me, so they need my help. Some of my friends are so sad. I think the map might be hurt, and I have to help them fix something. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job, but I'll try as hard as I can. I love my friends, and I want to be happy. What kind Ooh, of voice was that? <laughs> I don't know. You went into like some southern accent. Like it's I tried to go like little kid and then I just turned something. Right? Yeah, it, it went bad. As bad as this game so far. It's Look at what? That is a weird ass smile. Look at it's, it's like going up like this. And he's got smoke oh, coming out of his nose like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Ooh, what if Shoddy is one of the imaginary friends? Oh, okay. That could be cool. I'll, I'll give game one brownie point if it does that. 
But would you really trust this guy with your kid? No. Specializing in child and adolescent psychiatry? <laughs> I'll give you something, little girl. <laughs> Property of detective something. I found return to me immediately unless you want me to track you down and we both know you don't want that. <laughs> Jesus. I smell a rat. That big shot doctor is dirty written all over him. Can't believe my idiot brother-in-law trusted my niece to that madhouse. Just shows how money can buy custody. And I work for the same system of justice. Go figure. There's nothing wrong with my sister except she married a jerk. Mark my words, fancy doctor or not, one day soon the steel tipped gumshoe boots going a mile deep where the sun don't shine. At first, I have to focus on Rose and find a way to get her out of the asylum. Uh oh. Tragedy befell a famous billionaire on his own honeymoon. The 87 year old vineyard tycoon had recently married a 24 year old fashion model who <laughs> discovered him drowned in the bathtub. It's just awful stuff in the Glamour Diva. What am I supposed to do now with all the money in the world can't bring him back? No one understood the love we had. No further comment was available as she pulled away on her new limited edition sports. <laughs> I was so terrible! I just can't deal! <laughs> you sense if you get stuck, hence recharge automatically over time. I don't, I don't want to use it. Find the hidden object listed below. Is there a guitar? I found the guitar. <laughs> uh, I see a kiwi on the top shelf above the metal. Oh. Okay. Found the pistol. We just looking for murder weapons. <laughs> I feel like we're <laughs> looking for murder weapon. Oh no, birdhouse isn't the murder weapon. <laughs> well, it could be. Bludging somebody with <laughs> Ballet slippers, though. You could choke them with the straps. Well, there is that uh, myth of the enchanted slippers where you put them on, you can't stop dancing until you're dead. <laughs> uh, the pocket knife is on top of the pillow on the right side of the bed. Ball and chain. Is that a, like ghost face right there? Yeah, it's a ghost face. Okay. He's like, oh, I just woke up, you guys. What's up? <laughs> uh, the ballet slippers are in the bottom right of the screen. Uh -huh. Moon. There it is. I saw a mouse somewhere. Uh, the key oh, is right on there. the nightstand. I just saw the scissors, I swear I did. Oh, the oh, bottom there screen is in the uh, bottom left corner of the screen. Level complete. All right. Prelude to murder. I just when I thought the doctor was dirty, our local billionaire goes and gets himself dead. Now the, fi the filth is spreading. Well, his young wife of one day consoles herself with furs and pearls. My suspicion- One day, really? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't possibly be her. Nothing to prove yet. If only there were a clue, but this matter will have to wait. Right now, I can still use my clearance to see Rose as long as my sister is banned from the sanitarium. Ah, oh, what's this? <laughs> Find the object described below. Dr. Fraud is planning germs in Rose's blood samples to help falsify his diagnosis. Get rid of the germs. No. 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 Oh, there's... Uh, shit, there's a lot of them. Oh, uh, yeah, they're all over the place. Looks like there's one on Oh, okay. Down. I thought they were just in... Is that... I thought they were at first. Yeah, there's one on his pinky nail. Oh, one over there's here. One on his wrist. Uh, there's one in his hair. 
Aha! And... Got two more. These little bastards at. Oh, really, where they at? <laughs> Uh, I gotta pick your nose! <laughs> what? His eyes were germs? Sure, I'll believe it. <laughs> Great, your blood samples were clear of germs. Why didn't it work? Why didn't I notice the man poking his big hand? <laughs> My eye itches! <laughs> This <laughs> time to work my true magic. before medical surgery, lobotomized patients like the others before her. The persistent vegetative state that follows lobotomies is the icing on the cake. <laughs> the founder's <laughs> ample financial means. The ongoing life support system will provide years of bills of payment. Indeed, she's the. You kept like cutting out there. Dead diary. I made a new friend today. He's a nice old man. He uses crates to make. He said cyanide vines. He was sad because cyanide vines. Cyanide vines. <laughs> <laughs> sad. So sad. Why are they changing color? I don't know. Cause they're... I guess because they're cyanide vines. Because <laughs> they're cyanide vines. Find the rectangle like shown it. below. This is a bit trickier for me to help with. Yeah, I understand. Not really, but... Level complete. Something was very wrong with Rose during my visit. It was shocking. That doctor's a fake, but still, Rose's... It seemed like she was stuck in a dream. Kept saying the same thing over and over again. Cyanide vines! I figured a clue. Vines? Grapes? Wine? Coincident? Is she drunk? I mean, this billionaire <laughs> the tramp thing is getting to me. Still, I better check it out. Tonight I'll slip into the wine cellar and poke around for something. Anything. And have me some wine. Yeah. While I'm at it. Find the object shown in the shadow below. Ree, 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 ree. Man, there's so much stuff down here. Cannot clean their shit. What's up with these ghosts? And their yawning faces. <laughs> Uh... Okay, on the right side of the screen, I think I saw the pocket watch. Yeah, down a little bit, on top of that basket. Right, right, right. Okay. Hey! I figured the circle would be the dark oh. board. Okay, I see the scalpel. Go right. Right, 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 right. Up a little bit. There you go. Oh, pine cone right below you. How do you 
us a cannon. Why do they have a cannon in the cellar? Oh, I think I saw the little hammer thing. Uh, bottom left. Uh, right under. Yeah, right there. How many of these do we have to do? I keep getting more of them. Yeah. <laughs> it never ends! Start clicking on everything. <laughs> okay, looks like there's an end in sight now. <laughs> Where's my lucky stars? Oh, oh I see the cannon. Uh, bottom of the screen. Like, very bottom of the screen. Oh. I just think this like, big huge thing to be a cannon. I can't even tell what those remaining ones are. <laughs> I know! Because I thought the circle was the dartboard, but apparently not. Not this that either. Thing? No. Not that. This? Yeah. Baseball. Okay. I don't know what the hell the other things are. Oh, there's that. What is that even? <laughs> oh, is that it? No. It's difficult when you don't know what to look for. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, the skull. Now oh, I don't know what the fudge that thing is. <laughs> See anything remotely resembling it? No. Me either. <laughs> I refuse to ask the game for help. Oh wait, okay. I still don't know what that is, but right below you. Down a little bit, that thing. What the hell is that? I don't even know. I don't know either. I don't understand. Fastest, I visited Rose. She was happy to see me and I gave her your love. There's something I need to talk to you about. I may have, have doubted your woman's intuition, especially since I've learned to base the hunt on logic and facts. It was with the job, but my visit with Rose makes me question it all. Something she says bears a striking similarity to a case I'm working on. And last night I had a breakthrough. I don't see how the two could be related, yet it seems undeniable. I trust as long as the case is open, but if I'm right, you'll read it all about it all in the papers. See you soon, your super slutty big bro. Your super big slutty big bro. Dead diary. My friend took the old great man and said thank you for pointing Uncle to the basement. He said it was going to be like a game and I can help with the pieces. I hope Uncle found what he was looking for. I told the great man about the nightmare I had. I dreamed he turned into a screaming skeleton right in front of me and it made me cry. He said I should never be scared by my dreams. I should think of them like a puzzle instead. He said dreams give us a chance to see something in pictures from our heart that we can't understand when we are awake in the day. He said most people learn to ignore their dreams and lose touch with them with their heart is trying to tell them. This even happened to me. If I see the skeletons when I go to sleep tonight, I'm supposed to look at it like a puzzle and try to pick out the pieces. If I do it right, I'll be able to tell Uncle something about the puzzle when I wake up. I'm supposed to figure out why the skeleton is crying. Why does the skeleton whine? Shut up, skeleton! <laughs> You're dead, what do you have to whine about? Find the hexagon shown below. Oh man, oh man! Oh, well, that one piece looks like the back of the neck. Back of the neck? Yeah, right there. And then diagonally down, uh, go down, down one more, and one more. That. Uh. 
This child having like insane nightmares. She needs to see a uh, shrink. Go down four paces. Diagonal uh, right one. That. Oh, and that looks like a cheekbone. That far right one. And now for this. This dude looks like... Oh, it's the one guy's neck on the, the right. The Titans. Attack yeah. of the Titans. Attack on <laughs> Titan. Never... I never really got into that one. Yeah, I didn't like it. It's undeniable now. Fits together like a puzzle. When Rose found this keystone piece and her vision of the whining scale... Are they trying to do a play on words with wine and whining? I don't know. <laughs> whining wine? Oh, yeah. It, it, says, it, right <laughs> it says it right back in there. <laughs> Indeed, there was no accident at the billionaire's mansion. It was that gold-digging wench all along. The place of death was the scene of a crime, and I know how it happened. I'm on my way, on my way there to collect some evidence. But how will I explain how I cracked the case? I've got to protect Rose and the family. Anyway, I'd be the laughingstock if I revealed the truth. Let's just say it was anonymous. What's in your head? In your head? Toys, the skulls, <laughs> scalpels, and hooks. In your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in your head. <laughs> nice, gaudy looking bathroom. <laughs> Uh, looks like the scrub brush is on the floor next to the green goop. I'm admiring the robe, okay? Leave me alone. I'm completing the stupid dumb game. <laughs> I hate this game! Let's get through it! God! Uh, the padlock is part of that stained glass window. Bird of Paradise. Is it a penguin? No, it's not a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> the swan? No, it's not a swan. Uh, the gavel is right next to that baseball net. Oh, that's not it? Okay. No. You were wrong! Well, it looks like one. Well, obviously it's not one. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, the key ring is right on top of the snake. I don't think I want to touch the snake. Don't, don't bite me, snake. Don't bite me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm chill. <laughs> huh? Never mind, you found it. <laughs> <laughs> Now find the gavel, and it's not that. <laughs> Is that it? Ha! Oh, I found okay. it before you did! Ciao! Killer vines! <laughs> Breaking news in the recent death of our own local tycoon winemaker. Police have arrested his fashion model widow for murder. Law enforcement asserts she put cyanide into a specific cask of Merlot reserved for his family for special occasions. Unfortunately, in this case, he drank to his own death. You're still dying! Credit in this case goes to Detective Ravenwood, said the mayor. That's what our town can expect. Solid police work by the numbers. Logic, facts, and hard evidence. And dream interpretations. Yes. My friend, the old great man, is happy again. He told me he had a good time playing the game with me, and I did a good job helping solve the puzzle. I'm very happy to see him smile, and I wish we could spend more time together, but he says it's time to go. For him to come to whatever he will allow. He wants me to remember him because he won't see each other for anymore. He said he's going to a place far away where he can rest, but he will always be close as long as I can remember him. I'll never forget him. I'll make sure to remember. I'll draw his picture so I can always remember when he smiles. Oh, looks just like him. Aw, isn't that cute? Yellow flowers. I don't know what the f is that a wine glass? It's a wine glass. <laughs> 
Swan Song, Killed by Piano. It was a horror scene in an elementary school at what was to be a special piano recital for promising music students. One young virtuoso was crushed under piano during the setup for the performance. It's an unimaginable tragedy, said the school's music teacher. She was best friends with my own daughter, and they were even competing for the same scholarship. Ha! Huh. No motive there! <laughs> the show will go on to honor her memory, said the teacher, and the scholarship will be awarded as she would want. That's right. Chapter 2 We're on a roll, paper. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> C clamp. That sounds painful. I think that's the papaya next to the tea kettle on the left side screen. Shot glass. We should all find a shot glass. Come on. Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. I was thinking about how to describe it. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, by, the, by that one thing? Like, yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, I found it. <laughs> Emma by Anna Yes. It said nails, I'm thinking of like fingernails. That's, that's probably not it. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, there's the dude I saw in my freaking bathroom, probably. Uh, the ladybug is right below you. Yeah, above the tea kettle on this card. Don't worry, I got it. Is there some weed down there? Can I? No, not weed. Oh, the, the girl's wearing the boot. What? It looks like. The ghost girl. Oh. It's like, it's like right there. <laughs> there's another ghost girl. Where the hell is Shawty at? Why did I put my name in? Oh, I bet it's if I want to play multiple games. Damn it. I guess so. Is that the mushroom that's like right in front of that handbag? Next to the Campbell? It okay. is! Whoa! Oh, there's nails. Booey. Boy, boy. We're not playing God of War over here, okay? Boy. Boy. Uh, those are the hedge clippers to the left of the girl. And whatever the hell a C clamp is. I don't know what a C clamp is. I know what a C cup is. Oh, well, there's a C clamp. How does the school manage to drop a piano on a poor little girl? You know, it, it begs the question. It was a 24-year-old supermodel again, I bet you. <sighs> I swear, who keeps letting her out? Just because she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I interviewed pretty much everyone in a position of authority at the school, and so far the story is consistent. But the music teacher seems a little jumpy. Note, the girl who was killed was a sure bet to win the scholarship. And with her death, they went to the teacher's daughter instead. Can't get that image out of my head. Seeing that poor girl's lead stick neck from under the smashed piano. That would give anyone nightmares. That's like the Wicked Witch! No one shrugged or thought anything of that. No. She had a house laid on top of her. <laughs> <laughs> What's a piano? From ex-wife to ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's their contact name. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mad at me. I only want to see our daughter happy and healthy. Remember how we used to talk about how anything was possible and the future seemed endless? Please just consider the things we used to laugh about. You remember how they said my grandmother used to talk about visions and later on things she said would come true? I like you can see her face in the you know, the screen and how her mouth is just a gay one. Uh, <gasps> I like how her teeth are like really white. <laughs> What kind of totally what kind of whitener do you use, honey? I don't know. I need you to at least be open to the possibility that there's nothing medically wrong with Rose. She may actually be quite special, more than we could ever thought before. Please let me see her. I just need to talk to her. Please, I'll do anything. Your loving ex-wife. 
Your loving ex-wife? What? Get out of here, bitch! Does <laughs> she have any pupils in her eyes? Her eyes are pure white. So is she reading the email that she's writing to ex-husband? I don't know. I guess that's weird. She looks kind of like uh, nice ex -wife. computer model. It's it's hell, not Dell. <laughs> <laughs> that's clever game, but not as clever <laughs> as the Monty Python reference. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, Darth uh, Vader. In a dream, Rose plays for an audience of a ghost all by herself, but her song is out of key. To help her understand her dream, collect the keys. K K K K. Athena has her head on the arm of my chair, and she's breathing heavily like Darth Vader. Seriously, I need seven more, six more. I see one on like the lights on the ceiling, to the left. Yeah. There, it looks like there's still one on the stool. Two more. Uh, there's one on her dress, like at the very bottom of her dress. You made me touch her butt <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Where's the last one at? Last one's always the most difficult. I don't know where it is. Start clicking randomly until. I'm gonna start clicking time. randomly! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he was. Keyboard, alright. <laughs> Great news! Great I'm news. a new friend! Oh, get get my wife. She's a little older than me and is really great playing the piano. Wow, she can play really good. She's going to teach me her favorite song. It's called Human Ivory, Human Ivory, Human Ivory, Human Ivory, Human Ivory, Human Ivory. I think it's called Human Ivory. I think so. My vein hour. My vein hour. This is a nice looking, you know, piano though, with all the skulls. Very... Someone pay a lot of money to have that custom made, I bet you. <laughs> Alright, top left of the screen. Hold Very on. Top left. Hold on, I got this. Okay. I got... Where's it at? There it is. Okay, now where? <laughs> Very top left, one to the right. Yeah. What? Uh, top right of the screen, two left. I'm paying attention to you, I'm enjoying this music. I think I would feel better about uh, playing the part game with you commentating, be like, it's okay, Krista, it's, it's just a little jelly on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, I was just about to point that one out. Just... I was just randomly clicking. <laughs> uh... Um, we'll stop. One down. I think that last one is the second key from the left. The second black key. Right about it. Oh yeah. It happened again. Rose was in that trance, kept saying the same thing over and over. This time it's human ivory. Like before, I suspect it's related to the death of that poor piano girl. I fear of the worst, for in this case the implications are truly grisly. What could that mean? My heart hurts when I remember the sight of her broken bones under that delicate inlay of that piano. <laughs> that 
beautiful piano. It's just, it's shattered now. <laughs> and her. <laughs> oh, from ex-husband to ex-wife. You just couldn't help it, and I was almost ready to arrange a visit for you. It's sad. I had to watch you dig a hole for yourself. I told you before, any crazy talk like that, and there's no way you're getting anywhere near Rose. Let me make it simple for you. Yes, we used to say anything was possible, and the sky was the limit, because we were young and stupid! <laughs> But eventually, it's time to grow up. If you haven't noticed, some of us actually have to work for a living. Is this what you do with your alimony? Sit around with your head in the clouds, making up fancies because you can't do the reality? My daughter is very sick. Rose needs medical attention and she's getting the finest care available. <laughs> I... No. <laughs> I trust Dr. Don't doubt me for a minute. I would light myself on fire if I thought it would help her, but it won't. <laughs> I'll do it anyway! <laughs> <laughs> we need to trust the doctors. For her sake, wake up! Your devoted ex-husband. <laughs> devoted to being your ex. Forever and always. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with me- No, you're fine, honey. <laughs> Let's just play poker and chess at the same time. That ghost girl really likes cards. <laughs> Oh, you have to find your friend the spider again. Oh, he's on that recliner. No, I don't want to touch it. Touch, touch, touch it. God, it's so freaking creepy. Did you know I woke up this morning like I had a rough night of sleep because that stupid spider. I woke up and I was like, all right, well, it's it's probably gone now, like somewhere else in my room. Nope, little bastard comes crawling out under my bed, looks at me, then leaves back under my bed. Are you kidding me? Don't play hide and seek with me! Uh, the telephone is on the top left bookshelf. <laughs> I'm fine every time I click on it. Found it. Oh, we're looking for another seek lamp. Which is on the top right bookshelf. Oh shit! All right. Uh, I see have a scythe on her body. Girl. Uh, there's an apple core. It had to be an apple core. Where's the apple core? Oh, I see the jug. It's next to the sword on the right side of the screen. Oh, the chess piece on the center board. Go figure. Kind of looks like a ruler. Oh, there's that oh. before. It's uh, right by a uh, black hair girl, like below her. Like down. Oh, right wow, there. really? I'm looking for this like little small thing, and it's that big ass apple core. <laughs> Get out of my life. Whatever that is. Dead Diary. I saw my piano friend again. We played a game across the table. She was so beautiful, glowing blue. I'm so happy when I came can make friends and play games with them. I hope I dream of her again soon. We play strip poker next time. And now I won't be scared in my dreams, so now I'm supposed to find the pieces of what it means. Piano girl told me about her friend, the music teacher's daughter. How she played the piano too, but he used to yell at her a lot. It would say, don't play the piano from your head. True talent comes from within. Key to sex is in successes in your bones. Can't spell success without sex, apparently. <laughs> he was mad at her, said she didn't play the piano as good as the piano girl. He always told her she had to practice harder or she'd never be on TV. He said the most important thing is to be famous so everyone can see you on TV and clap for you, and then give you the clap later on when you meet them. <laughs> I don't think the teacher's a nice man. He yelled at his daughter so much and slapped her hands when she made mistakes on the piano. 
She would cry and he would yell, Can you feel it now? And hit her harder and yell again and again. The key to success in your bones. Feel over your bones. Are you fucking sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I like this game, I don't know what you're talking about. The theme is coming up, you're like, you okay? You're yelling a lot. <laughs> Dude, I don't think that game's okay for you, Mom. If you go to like the bottom right corner of the television, the wood paneling right next to it is a piece. Or not. <laughs> it was totally that one. One over, one to the left. Okay. There we go. And that one. <laughs> Level complete. Good job. The body of the piano girl is missing from the morgue. Dun dun dun! It's sick of me. I almost can't write it down, but I already know what has happened. I met with Rose, and now I understand where the last piece of her puzzle fits in. I must remind myself that I'm a public servant, but I shudder to face the vigilante thoughts if I am within. Whatever. If my hands ever found his neck, I would. No! I must collect evidence and do this the right way. But I fear the evidence is now only bones or piano keys. At worst, they are one and the same. She's made piano keys out of her bones. Get that piano teacher's fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably hit that though. Uh, sailboat is in the top left corner. Okay, around a sailboat. Looking for a duck. There's a duck. Blueprints. Uh, a horse. Uh, the pineapple's on the left side of the screen, underneath the captain's wheel. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Can't remember the next line. Something in porous is he. Uh, the symbol is next to that gorilla skull on top of the piano. Come on, where are the uh, shackles at? I want to find me some shackles. There they are. Uh, the, uh, the carbiner is next to that scorpion. What the hell is a carbiner? You're using climbing. Oh. That, those things. I would have never known. <laughs> but you recognize them, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Not really. Okay. Oh, bowling shoes are bottom right, right there. corner. there. Yeah. Now a goddamn spoon. My spoon is too big. Uh, it's on the top right corner of the screen. My anus is bleeding. Nightmare in E minor. God. <laughs> this at the elementary school finished earlier today when the music teacher was arrested and the newly restored class piano was confiscated as evidence to a murder. Witnesses say his fingernails left gouges in the piano as he was dragged away, repeatedly screaming, Success is in the boat! <laughs> <laughs> Medical examiners later recovered dismembered body parts of the student who was recently killed by the same falling piano. To everyone's horror, the new ivory piano keys matched your bones. Whoa. It's really messed up. Dead diary. My piano friend was very happy. She said she won the game we were playing. It was so much fun and we went now, I said, because she said she has to go away now. We won't see each other anymore. Gee. Isn't that what the last one said? Sounds familiar. She didn't want me to cry. She told me I can always hum the favorite song she wrote for me when I went when I want to remember her. She said it was important to change the name of the song so it's not called Human Ivory anymore. Oh, okay, that's why it was called that. 
She said, with my help, the meaning of the song is different now, and it's a happy but reverent song. I don't know what reverent means, but I don't remember what she said. The new title of the song will be My Humble Hour. I will draw another picture here for my good friend. Where's the piano at? There should be a piano. Yeah, I know, mean, right? Well, I got a wine glass. Right? Curly White's Puzzler. Police have a mystery on their hands, as they should be able to sink their teeth into. Authorities have recently established a link between several missing persons cases. Over a half a dozen of the missing have the same common link. Each was last seen on his or her way to the dentist appointment, apparently to have their teeth whitened. <gasps> Curly White's. Doctors of the stars, how it's hosted. Oh, fucking damn it. Content. They never showed up. I hope they're all okay. The mayor added, our police are on it. We'll get to the root. We'll get to the root. And now... We'll get to the root, halitosis. Don't you worry. God damn it. <laughs> Chapter three. <laughs> Ping pong. Oh. Uh, the dice are on the table. Huh? Yeah, right there. Oh, they like said dinosaur. I'm like, I don't see a dinosaur. <laughs> <It's> Die. <laughs> Dude, look on the right side of the screen. This guy has a whole canister of nitrous oxide. Hell yeah! <laughs> Too bad we can't take that. <laughs> <laughs> a bowl. Really? We're looking for a bowl? Is that it? That's a bowl. A bowl of I've ever seen. Why is there a stingray? In the pool. <laughs> it's not in the pool no more. <laughs> Yeah, they really want to make water green in this game. <laughs> I mean, algae, hello? I guess. Is that the spyglass on the couch? Yes, okay. it is. Oh, the tool belt is right there, like right below you. Down a little bit. I just saw- okay. Like, I just saw the bone. Uh, the oil can is in the very left side of the screen, in the middle. Oh. I, I know I gotta look over there. Where or where is the stamp? Oh, wait. There it is! Uh-oh. This is extremely hard for me to write. You won't even let me see my own daughter, but I will be strong. I know you love Rose as much as I do, and you're only doing what you think is right. This is why you can't hurt me anymore. As long as she is your first priority, then I will survive. But I also have to do what I think is right. You can exile me, You can't, but you can't stop my love for our child. Every fiber of my being tells me she is not sick. She has something that science and medicine can't understand. I made an appointment for someone to visit her. A different kind of doctor. I want to nurture the special gifts our daughter has. We have to encourage her to understand she is special. We'll, and to learn, embrace what she is. And to learn, embrace what she is. <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? You're still loving me, thanks, <laughs> He's gonna be like, listen here, bitch. <laughs> oh. Acupuncture? Are you insane? I just got off the phone with your fruitcake voodoo doctor. <laughs> what are you trying to do to this poor child? She's my daughter too, so if you think there's any way I'm going to let some witch doctor stick pins in rows, you've got another thing coming. She'll get all the shots she needs at the asylum. I think we both know who's got deeper pockets if you want to start another legal battle. You try to sneak in another voodoo quack, you'll be hearing from the lawyer. <laughs> this isn't a threat, it's a promise. Don't test me! That's exactly why I didn't want to work didn't work between us, and why I will never work again. As long as I'm the only one living in reality, I'm the only one in custody. You're still devoted ex-husband. 
Damn. It's gonna like go back and forth between them now. <laughs> uh Rose is Rose tormented is by images of voodoo needles <laughs> mixed with heavy thoughts of a dentist office. A palitosis. <laughs> Find teeth to get to the root of her fears. <laughs> Find teeth. This is gonna be annoying. A little bit. Why is it near my eye? This is supposed to be that close. Don't worry, everything is okay. Oh, there's one on the very far right of the screen on that needle. Yeah, very good. Um, right there on that needle. Right there, yeah. You started to frighten me. Freaking me out, kid. Okay. On that, there's two on that. Yeah, that leg doll that you're hovering over. There, I see on it. One at the base of its neck. And you have to like look one away one. in order to see it sometimes. Yeah. We have two more. Two more. Oh, there's one. One more. The last one, paper. It's her teeth. No. <laughs> Just like uh, pluck her teeth out. Uh, the needle that's pointing at the girl is at the base of its where you like press down oh. on it. How arrogant is this dentist clown? No one the junior investigator to follow the path of his person. personal instinct for him to deny any involvement. You're cutting out. Oh, hopefully it fixed itself. Yeah. But where is the evidence? Doctor of the stars. How am I supposed to be impressed by that fancy title? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I'm going back to the poolside home, home office. Poolside home office? We were just there. We found a stingray. Dead diary. Wow, what a great surprise. I was getting so lonely, but now I made a whole bunch of new friends. They'll show me their nice white teeth. I wonder how often their parents told them to sulfuric acid brush their sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's gonna be simple, Jesus. Well, up to a point, I guess. Well, the letters are gone. Looks like all it is is the letters. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, the C is on the top left corner, along with the A. No diving, no swimming. Just, what? No swimming in the pool? I mean, when, when did you just put no swimming? No swimming implies no diving. There should be a warning sign that says, warning, stingray. <laughs> stingray, do not approach. <laughs> this is starting to happen like clockwork. She's not asleep, but she's not awake. When her eyes roll back in her head over and over, she repeats it. Sulfuric acid. Is it a trance? Seance? I hesitate to call it any sort of communion with the dead. I really don't believe in that sort of thing. There's no way Rose would even know what sulfuric acid is. How many regular people even know how you could use it to make evidence disappear? Obviously, she's a smart kid. Why are you doing this to me, game? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, look at the little gopher beaver thing. I'm more looking at that parrot looking thing about it. Oh my god, that's frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Polly wanna crack her! Uh, the little army dude is next to the skeleton skull, the ghostly one. A 
I'll just click on uh, that thing because I thought it was a feather duster. <laughs> uh, to the left of the weird parrot, it looks like that eel head is one of the things. To the left of it. Oh, I want one of those. An eel head? Alright. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with that? I don't know. Don't judge that me. Like the lobster is hanging on the wall right there. <laughs> oh, cheese. Cheese, please. Uh, the ghost skeleton is holding the bottle in one of its hands. I feel like I just saw this thing. Oh, it's on the light that's pointing oh. at the patient. Uh, you. Whatever that is. <laughs> Don't question it. Just know what's there. You. Uh... Oh, at the very bottom center of the screen, below the snake. Diary. My friends came to visit me again. At first, they all agreed that we need some help with this new puzzle. It got hard to remember what kind of puzzle pieces I'm supposed to be trying to understand because they all started to talk at the same time. One said something about eating breakfast cereal, and I said no, it was killing your hunger with breakfast cereal. This one said you need a million dollar smile to be a star, and that one said no, only stars have enough money to buy a smile that shines like a million dollars. Also confusing. I wish they could, could agree because I really want to help my friends, but I'm not sure what they wanted. Then finally one of them put up her hands and the others were quiet. She said, dig down to the root of the problem and everything else will just dissolve away. This seemed to make them all happy and they nodded and said, yes, that's the piece of the puzzle we need. I'll tell uncle. <laughs> 